and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. We've got a really cool build today. We're going to build a car for Hellenbach Pizza. Now, Hellenbach Pizza is a cornerstone in the community of the Fort Walton Beach Destin area. This establishment has been around for quite a few years and they have earned the reputation as the go-to place for great pizza. Chris Samen is the owner and they do a fantastic job. Now let's go ahead and get on and tear this car down and make this beautiful car for Helen Back Pizza. Now's the time to order yourself a pizza, grab yourself an adult beverage, and sit back and relax as we make this fantastic car for Helen Back Pizza. Let's go ahead and get started with today's build. The base we're going to start with today is this Nova Gasser. I went ahead and drilled out the posts. Now if you want to see how to take apart a die cast car, check out my playlist in the how to section on how to take apart a die cast car. This should answer all your questions. This way here, I don't have to explain it every time when I go to do a video. But this is a brand new car and we're going to go ahead and strip it down and turn it in to this Hellenbach monster. Here I've got all my parts together. I've got my container to hold everything together so I don't lose anything. We'll put in the stuff in the container that I'm not going to use right away. And then let's go ahead and get the car body and get it in to the embalming fluid. Here I've got the body. We're going to dip it into the citrus strip. Get the whole thing coated because we plan on doing a complete color change. Knock off the excess and then go ahead and put it on a tray. That way there, if it's on the tray and you can see it, you can tell if it's ready to clean up. It usually takes about 20 or 30 minutes, although some cars it works faster on. While that's sitting there waiting for that goo to take effect, let's go ahead and do a wheel swap. I take off the plastic wheels and I got these sets of wheels from Sam Ed Wheel. Now if you're looking for wheels, check out Sam Ed Wheels on eBay and on Facebook. Now they've got some great wheels and people that sell them over there in the uh, in the Indonesia like in Thailand and uh, other places like that, Malaysia, but sometimes it takes weeks and months to get those wheels because of the COVID restrictions. With Sam Ed Wheels you get them in days, not months. So please check out Sam Ed Wheels. Here we're going to use these fantastic gasser wheels. Now the axles are a little bit too small. So what I'm doing is I'm using the axle that came with the plastic tires and just snipping off that little tip. Then we're going to put these real rubber Goodyear tires on there. And we're going to go ahead and using some fence pliers, we're going to pinch the very end of the axle so the wheel won't come off. Now I got these particular ones at Tractor Supply, but you can get them at Walmart, you can get them at Lowe's or any other place. They run about 20 bucks for a good set. Now they do wear out, so you may have to get another set eventually. There, that's flared out very nice. Now you can take a file and file down that tip if you want to to take off that rough edge. Just a little bit there is all you need. That's looking pretty good. Maybe even take off just a little bit more. Yeah, we gotta take off more. There's just too much slop in there. So we'll trim that down just a little bit more. And it's better to not cut off a lot because you can't put it back. So just do it in little pieces if you have to until you get it exactly where you want to. Give it a good hard squeeze. Now be careful here because if you don't put the axle in the tool deep enough, 
When you go to squeeze it, you'll shoot it across the room and you'll lose your axle and you'll lose your tires. Does that sound like the voice of experience? And there's today's tip from your Uncle Paulie. Now we're going to trim down the front wheels and again they also need a little bit of the axle taken off. So again, snip it off when you're, with your cutting tool. Be careful that that axle doesn't shoot into your finger. Again, the voice of experience speaking. Give it a good squeeze. And now it fits perfectly. We're also going to take a Sharpie marker and we're going to color in those white walls on the inside of the wheels. I don't really care for the white walls, but um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and clean those up. Now, now that you got your wheels on and that interior holds the wheels in place. Now I'm still going to do a, do a touch of super glue on there to hold them in place, but you don't really need to because the interior has those little flanges that holds the axles in place. Now again, like I said, we're going to go ahead and color in the white walls on the insides of these wheels just to hide them. And let that set for a little bit because if you put it on too early, you're just going to rub it off with your fingers and you'll have to touch it up again anyway. So just let it set for a while. That's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and clean up the car body from the Citra strip, scrub it down with degreaser, and let's get it painted. Here we got the body all cleaned up, and I'm going to spray it down with some paint from the Redline shop. If you're looking for that wonderful Spectre Flame paint, check out the Redline shop because they've got the, all those paints. They've got replacement wheels for your Redline restorations and a whole bunch of other products. So check them out at www.redlineshop.com. Here we're using the opaque white. Now you'll mix this up with some activator hardener and you're going to go in and put in some mist coats. You don't want to saturate the car quite yet. Uh, there's a couple little pieces of fuzz on there from where I dried it off so I got to pull that off there. Like I said just get some mist coats on there and let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes and then come back in and hit it with your saturation coats. Now once this, this dries up, we're going to go ahead and put on our homemade decals and then we're going to come back in with some clear coat and clear the car and make it look fantastic. Let's let it set and we'll get the decals put on. I let it set overnight. Now I've got my decals that I made with my own homemade setup. I do have the ability to print white toner decals, but since the car here was white, I didn't have to use the white toner. Now if I wanted to pull it or put them on a, a darker car, I would have had to use the white toner. But this is going to look great. I cleaned up the Helen Back logo and I've got one for each door. Once you get it on, go ahead and squeegee the excess fluid out of there. That looks nice. I'm very happy with that. Let's go ahead and get the next piece here. Here I've got a couple slices of pizza. And I figure these would be nice on that back quarter panel. How cool is that? Same thing, go ahead and use your Q-tips and blot out the excess water. You can't really rub this because the decal is too small. So go ahead and blot out that excess. 
It's still moving around a bit. It's still floating. Just do the best you can. That's looking great. Now we're going to put decals like this on the other side to match the passenger side. Now let's go ahead and put some decals on the roof of the car. Here I found some wallpaper online with some pizza slices on it. I figured this would be really cool. Now yeah, I could have put stripes on there, but you know what, I says, this, is, this is appropriate. This will definitely go with the theme. Now be careful with your decal sheet and go ahead and squeeze out that excess fluid. If you push too hard, you'll rip the decal. Just take your time. How many times have you heard that from me? Take your time. Got a few wrinkles in there I'm trying to work out. Now a lot of times some of these wrinkles will smooth out when you let it set for a while and that excess water evaporates. But try and get out as many of the wrinkles as you can. That's looking really, really cool. Let's go ahead and move on. So here's all the pieces. We've got the body with those wonderful decals from Helen Back Pizza. That looks fantastic. I was really pleased with the way this turned out. Pizza. Here's the base. Now I thought I glued in the wheels. I guess I didn't. Not a problem. Those wonderful wheels from Sam Ed Wheels. The interior is the same and the windshield is the same. Let's put it together and have our reveal. And here's what we started with. A 64 Nova Gasser. These are, these are great cars and I've got a bunch of them and I've got a bunch of builds planned for the future here. We took it apart. We did a wheel swap. We did a paint job and we put some really cool decals on there for Helen Back Pizza. We used the white opaque paint from Redline Shop and that turned out as amazing as always. Like I say, if you get a chance, check out my sponsors. I like to point out to you folks where I get my supplies so you can have the same thing that I use when you go to do your diecast hobby. And here's the result. Look how cool this turned out. I'm very, very pleased with the way this gasser turned out. It represents the company very well as far as the pizza theme. And hey, you know what? This could be a hell of a delivery vehicle. Get you your pizza really fast. If you happen to be down in the Northwest Florida area, check out Helen Back Pizza. It's in Fort Walton Beach and they've got some fantastic food and they've been around for a very long time and they're well respected by the community. So if you get a chance, please check them out. They're also on Facebook and they have a web page. So check out Helen Back Pizza. Guys, this was a lot of fun. And this was another situation where I walked in and started talking about my diecast hobby with the owner of the company and he absolutely flipped over the idea. And another way for you to make money with your diecast hobby. And to top it all off, we've got a custom card. Look how cool that turned out. That was a lot of fun. Now if you'd like to learn how to make these cards like I do, leave a comment in the comments and I'll check it out. And to top it all off, we've got that holographic custom certificate of authenticity. I know that Chris is going to love this. This, is, this was a lot of fun. And here's a close-up of the card, the back of the card with an autograph, and the holographic certificate of authenticity. Take your cars to the next level. Check out SprayGunner.com for all your airbrush needs and for your Createx and your Chroma Air paints. Thank you for joining me here today in Diecast Graveyard. This was a fantastic build. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. And I had a wonderful time doing this build. My name is Paul with Diecast Graveyard. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.